Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Ned. Welcome back to the Discord.js bot coding tutorial series. Today we're going to be doing a long-awaited update on the Fortnite tracker uh, tutorial. So basically a lot has changed. The package itself has changed. The function itself is not, um, oh gosh, I don't even remember what it was before. Um, but it's not that anymore. Now it's user, the API has changed, or at least the way that this data is exported to uh, a client to, for us to use is has changed. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I've gone ahead and set up all the basics. Um, you don't need these two lines. Um, that's just for me to run it on the source code. Um, I'm just using a channel, a hidden channel um, for me to use it so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is probably just watch the first like couple minutes of the other episode and get up to this point. Um, once you're here, you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a data or a variable called data equal Fortnite dot user. And then we have a username, so username comma platform. Then data set up a little arrow function there and I'm actually going to put some checks in so if username does not exist return message dot reply please provide a username right, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller we're going to need to make it a lot bigger here in a second so we're going to go ahead and take a look at what this all looks like um, so let's just console log data so let's go ahead and run it. Node index.js. Everything's loaded. It's online. Let's take a look. There's the tutorial bot. So let's go ahead and run Fortnite. And username is I'm going to put Mr. Ned in there. It's just my name. And then we're going to put PC, which we don't actually have to put PC. So there is the object. What I'm going to be showing you guys how to get to is lifetime. Um, you guys could use, I think there's solo, there's duos, and there's squads. You can use those stats as well. Um, I don't think I have enough stats in either of those, or any of those really, to um, use as an example. So we're going to go ahead and just use lifetime. All right. So if we take a look up here, all of this is stored in something called stats. So let's go ahead and do let stats equal data dot stats now we can do let lifetime equal stats dot lifetime now let's console dot log lifetime all right i'm actually going to go ahead and close out chrome because we don't need that anymore and it's just running for no reason so let's restart the bot control c and run the same command all right Fortnite, Mr. Nedinator, and then PC. All right, so here's lifetime. Um, now you might be wondering, how am I gonna get these values? And yeah, it's actually pretty simple. So this is just an array. We could take the time to parse it and make it into an object and make it easier to read and everything, but I'm not gonna do that today. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and do let. Let's do, let's do score equal lifetime and then we're going to count so it's going to start at zero because it is an array so zero one two three four five six so six and then we're going to put score and if we want to see that right now we can go ahead and do console log score So Fortnite, Mr. Netinator, defaults to PC. So there's my score right there. So that makes it pretty easy. Let's just go ahead and keep on doing that. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. Uh, so we can do score matches, wins, 
just all these last one, two, three, four, five, six. So next is matches played, win percentage. Oh wait, no, that's wins. Then win percentage, just to keep it in order. Kills, KD, KD, and played for matches played wins uh, win percent and kills so I'm gonna go ahead and set up an embed let embed equal new discord dot rich embed set title uh, we'll go ahead and do I believe we could just do data dot username let's take a look So data.username, or we could just do username, but we'll do data.username to prove that we can do it. Uh, set color, uh, let's just set this as uh, blue, why not? And then we can do add field, uh, let's call this one kills. And then we can put kills, and then I'm gonna make these inline. Add field. Actually, I want wins first. Wins, kills, kills, true. And then we can do, let's do score next. Add field, score score true add a field um, let's see here what else we got matches played so matches played and played true and actually while I'm thinking about it I'm gonna change this to set author and then I'm gonna do set title and we'll just do Fortnite tracker lifetime stats. All right. And then, so we have four of them done. Oops. So we need win percentage and KD. So add field, win percentage, win per, and true. Add field. Kill, death, ratio, KD, true. All right, so let's go ahead and send this. Message.channel.send embed. All right, and let's go ahead and start it up. I'm going to go ahead and remove all these console logs. Just get them out of there. And let's make sure this guy works. And there, oh. Oh, that's why. Because I didn't change these numbers. So let's go ahead and change that. So score, it should just be in descending order. Or ascending, I guess. I guess if I can count. 10 and 11. Because those are in order and they just, yeah. Restart that. Fortnite, Mr. Netinator. There it is. So wins two. I very crappy scores, but yeah, that's not the point. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for my long hiatus there. Um, I am back. I am recording videos, and there'll be a lot more to come. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you need any help with your code, go ahead and hit that Discord invite link down in the description, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.